Why am I seeing type error? String indices must be integers. I'm playing with both learning Python and am trying to get GitHub issues into a readable form. Using the advice on how can I convert JSON to CSV? I came up with this. Where issues.json is the JSON file containing my GitHub issues. When I try to run that, I get What am I missing here? Which are the string indices? I'm sure that once I get this working I'll have more issues, but for now, I just love for this to work. When I tweak the for statement to simply What I get is, issues, so I'm doing something more basic wrong. Here's a bit of my JSON content. When I print data, it looks like it is getting munged really oddly. Item is most likely a string in your code. The string indices are the ones in the square brackets. For example, gravatar underscore id. So I'd first check your data variable to see what you received there. I guess that data is a list of strings, or at least a list containing at least one string, while it should be a list of dictionaries. The variable item is a string. An index looks like this. The above example uses the zero index of the string to refer to the first character. Strings can't have string indices, like dictionaries can. So this won't work. Type error for slice notation SCR column B. Short answer. Use a colon column instead of a comma, in between the two indices A and B and SCR column B. Long answer. When working with strings in slice notation, a common sequence operation, it can happen that a type error is raised, pointing out that the indices must be integers, even if they obviously are. Example We obviously pass two integers for the indices to the slice notation, right? So what is the problem here? This error can be very frustrating, especially at the beginning of learning Python, because the error message is a little bit misleading. Explanation We implicitly passed a tuple of two integers to the slice notation when we called my underscore string 0, 5. 0, 5 evaluates to the same tuple as 0, 5 does, even without the parentheses. Why though? A trailing comma is actually enough for the Python interpreter to evaluate something as a tuple. So what we did there, this time explicitly, Now, at least, the error message makes sense. Solution We need to replace the comma with a colon column to separate the two integers correctly, not having them interpreted as a tuple. A clearer and more helpful error message could have been something like
A good error message should show the user directly what they did wrong. With this kind of information it would have been much more easier to find the root cause and solve the problem, and you wouldn't have had to come here. So next time, when you find yourself responsible for writing error description messages, remind yourself of this example and add the reason, or other useful information, to error message. Help other people, or maybe even your future self, to understand what went wrong. Lessons learned. Slice notation uses colons, column, to separate its indices, and step range, i.e., str from column to column step. Tuples are defined by commas, i.e., t equals 1, add some information to error messages for users to understand what went wrong. Data is a dict object. So, iterate over it like this. Python 2 Python 3